So this is a drone right here, the embedded world. And uh, hi, so who are you? Hello, well, we are Isenov. We are a design house in France, and uh, we worked for three years on a fully autonomous drone. Um, we built all the system, including, including the hardware, the, the flight algorithms, the, the planification, auto mosaic, everything. Fully autonomous. Yeah, the the remote only has one button, so it's like play pose. You you just enter the the area you want to to take pictures of. Is it flying? Uh, no, the, the, this one is another product. It's this one. So, um, so you have this board in there. Uh, what's what's it based on? Uh, of course, it's an STM32. Which one? Where? Uh, it's this one. There. And then uh, what else do you have going on here? So we have a bunch of sensors. We have an um, accelerometer and gyroscope, barometer. Uh, communication, power, power supply. And uh, do you have a secret sauce in the software? What's going on? <laughs> How can you make autonomous drone? That's the dream of everybody in the world. Right? Yeah, that's uh, nine years I'm working in, uh, on the flight algorithms. I work for uh, flight controllers for the, the LC market. So this is why we released uh, the Neuron, which is a flight controller for LC helicopters. Airplanes and uh, uh, racing quadcopters. So, what's special about these small controllers that you're talking about here? What? It's fast. What is that for? <laughs> it's very, very fast. Fast. Can, yeah. So, for example, on here you have just an off-the-shelf kind of like a helicopter, or what? Yeah. You put your controller on it, and then what happens? Yeah. Um, the, for, for the helicopter, the, the controller uh, is between the pilot and the servo motors. And it, it makes sure the, the helicopter reacts exactly, exactly as the pilot wants. So it's not about autonomy? Not, not on this one. It's just about fast controls? Yeah. But this is the, 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 the basis for the, the autonomous drone. You have to be fast for it to stay in the air? Yeah. Otherwise you have to, to react fast. Even if it seems slower, the, the reaction has, has to be very fast and accurate. So. Uh, in this drone, do you have uh, cameras and stuff like that in there, or...? Yeah, there is uh, a patent about Up and this. down, or where? Uh, uh, because the, um, the, the smartphone that you use to, to make the plan... You put your phone in there? Yeah, yeah you, put, you put the smartphone inside. So you put the phone? Yeah. Which phone? Uh, it's the one we, we provide with the, with the drone. It's an S7 from Samsung. So it has a, a Snapdragon 835? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, or maybe something like that? Uh, I don't know exactly, yeah. but it's very, very powerful and it has a very good uh, imaging sensor. It's running Android, you have your app running on it? Yeah. And but the, the, the application ju is just sending um, uh, commands to, to the flight controller which is inside. So Based on what the camera sees? No. Mm. It's no? The, the, the flight controller is fully, fully autonomous on the, on the control side. So even if the, the, the smartphone were to, to fall, the, the drone can still fly. Uh, but so what, it's not based on the camera inputs? Uh, we, we use it for certain uh, features, I like guarantee that the, the landing will be exactly where the, the, the takeoff took place. Otherwise, it's based on what? GPS? Yeah, GPS. Only GPS? Yep. Uh, I mean, this, this guy there. Not only GPS, because there is um, a, huge, a huge part of the project is the sensor fusion uh, between the gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, uh, barometer, GPS, uh, everything. The, no you, you no have other to... IR sensor or anything? Uh, not on this one. Just GPS, altitude? Yeah. And that's super accurate? There's never any issue with that? Yeah, the, this one is already accurate to less than one meter, uh, which is already better than the, than the GPS alone. And we are working on a new version with the real-time kinematic, kinematic GPS. So um, you put a destination, it just goes there by itself, and yep. then you put and come back. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it connects uh, with the LTE through the phone? We just, we just uh, distance. No, uh, because in France there is a... Um, uh, the, the, the law doesn't allow you to, to do that. Yeah, but you don't have to follow the law. Oh, you do have to. Uh, you have to follow the law? 
Yeah. You're just experimenting. You can do whatever you want. No, we, we have a specific type of, type of license for experimenting, uh, but still, we the, 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 the one we are selling to our customer has to, to follow the rules. The limit is how, how far? Uh, in France, it's one kilometer. One kilometer. All right. It's not possible to get more... It's it's uh, locked, in, locked in the software. Locked in the software. All right. So uh, you said you have customers. Yeah. You selling how much? Uh, <laughs> what is our price for this? It's it it's um, it's quite cheap for this kind of product uh, oh, yeah? com compared to the competitor. Compared to uh, like uh, NASA or something or I don't know what's a competitor. Uh, I, I mean, it's more expensive than a DJI. Because yeah. they are more on the prosumer market, which is between the the um, uh, grand public uh, mass market, yeah. the consumer. Uh, yeah. yeah, between the mass market but and the. So, is, uh, what is this material? It's very very light. Yeah, it's. Uh, Where is it ma manufactured? It's uh, expands polypropylene. Yeah. Uh, it's not polystyrene at all. Yeah. Uh, it's not not stronger. It's very light. Polypropylene expands. Great. So it's um, it's not it's not plastic. No. And uh, what happens if it crashes? Does it stay okay? The, this one uh, fell from uh, 50 meters and nothing broke. Nothing. Great. And the, the combination of three. What is the turn here? Is it going forward, backward, up and down? Yeah. As you can see on the video, uh, it's a uh, very innovative structure. Um, the, the fact that that we really mastered the, the flight algorithms uh, allowed us to to make really big innovation breakthrough in the in the structure itself. So it's only three motors, and less motors means more efficiency. And uh, the three motors are moving. It's like having having the the gimbal inside the, the drone is the gimbal itself. And uh, so, how, how much uh, experience do you have? I mean, since when did, was it released? Or uh, this fine? one for a few months, um, and we are working on it for uh, more than three years. 